everyone and welcome back to webgu in today's video we are going to create a small application a weather api in angular so let us start i have created a folder weather app angular and inside that i am going to create a new project that is ng new weather So I have selected the CSS page as uh, I have selected the style sheet as CSS here, and I'm going to create my project. Now the project has been created. Let us just run this and see. So we will type ng serve. the project is running and now let us go to the local host uh, 4200 that is the port number so let us go to this uh, let us just click on this url and see what is happening now let us create a new service for that i am typing ng g s service uh, weather so this will create a weather service for us so ng space g space s that is the short form for service weather now once the service is created we have we are going to use the open weather api for that you have to go to the site for open weather api and you have to uh, log in with your account So I already have an account here. So with my credentials, I am logging into the Weather API website, and here you can go to the current weather data API. And this is the site. And once your account is created, the an API key will be generated. So let us uh, use a URL. Uh, which if you scroll down you can see a url where you can give the city name and uh, the api key then you will get the weather of that city at that time so that is how it works now we are going to use the same url here that is we are going to give the input as city and we are going to find the weather of that city at that particular time So let us start. Inside the uh, service class, that is weather service, we are we first we will write the API key that we has, and we are going to create a get weather method. And so we are giving the city as the input. and we we will uh, copy the api call here so i am directly passing the url and instead of the city i am give passing the city variable here and for the api key whatever api key we have i am going to pass that as well now we have to add the http client module inside our um, app dot module class otherwise uh, the http will not be supported so now we will just run this and see so we have created the service so before running it we have to create a uh, another component so i am going to create another component called a weather so ng gc weather and there will be three files one is a html file another is a typescript file and another is a css file 
now uh, if you go to the app modules and see you can see that the uh, weather component is registered i am going to register my weather service as well so inside the weather component html file i am creating a form where we will take the input as a city so i am creating a text box placeholder will be an enter a city name and i am creating an ng model with city so this is for two way binding we are using ng model and we will create a button so as soon as you submit this button you will get the weather of that city so that is the idea so once we click on the button the get weather method will be triggered so we have to create the same method in our typescript class of the same component now we are listing what all we need uh, to be printed so if there is weather data we we will print the some of the weather properties so first we will complete the typescript class so i am uh, creating a variable called city with type string and uh, another variable weather data now inside the constructor i am calling my weather service now i am creating a weather a, a get weather method and i am calling the get weather method of my service class so i'm uh, typing like what all parameters i needed or what all properties like i i need the temperature humidity and the description of the weather in that particular city so i'm uh, writing all of that here so all this comes from the weather api website and css i am not giving anything for now now let us just run this application and see what happens so now when we click on the button we are getting the result so if i give bangalore i am getting the temperature humidity and the description so if you uh, see the api these are the properties that we get now let us try to add the css let us try to make our application more beautiful and add a little bit of css so inside my uh, css page that is uh, in the css part i am adding the height and width and giving a color that is giving a box for this for the div container i am giving the these properties now let us just uh, check if these are already applied no so let us see what is the yes so now uh, the changes are being applied now let us adjust the height and width and we will change the background color it is not looking good
now this is how our how our application looks now let us add some font awesome icons so this is the uh, command to add the font font awesome that is where i'm adding the ng add uh, font awesome here so this will add all the necessary uh, so it will ask us what type of icons do we want i'm adding the free solid icons So these are the icons that are added into our uh, project. Now let us search for some icons like I wanted a sun and rain and cloud icon. So I'll just type that. So I, I got one. Now let us add this into our component. We need to add this uh, inside the TypeScript file as well as the HTML file. Now I am adding a temperature icon. So since I have added the free solid SVG icons, I, I get only that. You can add even more if you want. So near to my temperature, uh, near to that, I am adding this temperature icon. So now the icons are being added. Now let us try to add another um, icon. for humidity let us see if we get something so i'll try to add this uh, droplet slash icon for humidity i could not find anything else So I'll copy paste the same and add the uh, change the name of droplet slash and save this. Let us see if it is working fine. Yes. We have completed our weather widget application in Angular. I hope you enjoyed the, watching this video. Please do try this out. And if you have any doubts, please uh, link in the comment section. I'll reply to your uh, doubts so if you like this please do support my channel please subscribe and hit on the like button so that it encourages me do share this video with everyone thank you we'll be back with another exciting video next week till then bye bye